upbeat. There's no one out there that's looking with, that looks like their head is down or that they've just had a massive spray because I don't think giving either team a massive spray at half time is really going to have done anything to them other than make them to start second guessing and doubting themselves. So they really, it was more, I would feel that it would be more about giving them confidence, giving them positivity, and really just encouraging them to take the game on and to take the opportunity to win the game. And I'm glad that Michael Cardamone heard my half time speech then because he got Moldjack straight onto the bench, boys. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be on there for long, though, Ray, I dare say. Too valuable to be sitting on the pine. No one wants to ride the pine. So there's the siren as we get set to go in this third quarter. We are locked up. It couldn't be any tighter as the umpire comes in with sun streaming down on Walker Park. Up they go. Nice little hit out there by Hockey. Gets it down and the ball is uh, hurried forward. Can someone get on the end of it? It's a bit of a contest there, but the ball pops out. Once again, it's a little bit untidy, but it's towards the goal square and it just bounced away at the end. That was dangerous for the Pioneers, but they managed to extricate themselves in the hands of Farley. And he gets it down the line. That's uh, Thorne. They're in a bit of trouble here, the Pioneers. They need to get this out as Thorne gets it down towards half-back. Bounces past, I think it was Hockey there. And it's going to come back, knock forward. And oh, a good tackle by Tippett. But he's not rewarded. In fact, the ball goes out of bounds in the end. Good strong tackle, uh, tackle there by Marcus Tippett. It was on Daniel Price. Price has played well. He's had a good game. So he really should have talked to Price then because he could have got the boot, uh, ball to... You know what I'm saying? Put Kick the ball. Kick the footy. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Don't worry. We've all been guilty of that one, Alana. As the ball comes back towards the likes of Newton, the ball goes across the boundary line. Boundary throw in right in front of our broadcast position. Walker Park there, Mitchell. Add it to my blooper reel. <laughs> Don't worry, Alana. There's plenty of them for me as well. The whole media team, we've got plenty of bloopers this season. As it has been a great year for us in the media team. Odomac getting his hands on the footy. Bar one by UP Warren Smith <laughs> as well we go long good spall coming across the back there from Dean to see her. I don't know who that one is the, uh, you guys are referring to but might be the one one oh, well I'll just be quiet now yeah. I'll just do some talking Gus <laughs> add that to the reel BWS can you tell us if there's been any change in condition wind wise down there no, it's all it's all much it's all much of the same mate to be honest it's still favoring Whitehorse in this third term pushing across the ground um, but look, at the end of the day, we've seen it on both ends. You can kick goals either side. So That's it's right. just about using the football properly, going down the corridor. Look, the best way home is the straight way. So nothing much in the way of open play so far in this quarter as the ball gets uh, thrown in and there's immediately a whistle. And it's going to be a free kick to the Whitehorse Pioneers. No, in fact, it's the cold stream. So no, in fact, the umpire's going to throw it in again by the looks. And third time lucky. Not a lot of urgency. Everyone just sort of standing around at the moment. They look like a bunch of old farmhouse hens as the ball goes in. Getting the front spot there. And it's fallen for, I think it was uh, Craig who gets the kick away downfield. But there's no one in particular and they won't keep that in. Chasing after it. But uh, the cold stream flat was uh, Odomat. But he couldn't keep it in and it's gone out of bounds. So, sun streaming across Walker Park. All locked up at 4-4-28 in this absorbing match a really tight tussle a tussle bit of a game of chess as the ball is hacked forward inside 50 knocked away towards the boundary line gleads over there but there's about three uh, cold stream players ahead of him and they see it out appeals for something over there i'm not quite sure what that was darcy kerrigan had the hands out and the umpire says we'll just throw it on again boys one thing i've noticed this quarter i think cold stream are having the better of the stoppages this quarter whereas in the first half it was whitehorse no fair comment as the ball comes in, getting forward. The throw was quite a short one in the end, and going forward was hockey. And once again, it's out of bounds on that forward pocket. So a scrappy start once again to this third quarter. I think it's a feeling this is going to be a, a very low-scoring game. We're hoping for it to open up, but no signs that it's going to do so at the moment. So we have a boundary throw in now. Child strings forward 50. Tap one down there by Fritch. And I think it's gone out of bounds on the full that it has. So the ball's going to go to the Pioneers. In the hands now with Josh Bevis. Not a lot of options presenting, so it goes long down the line. Good intercept mark taken there by Price. Sorry, LaRusso to the top of the goal square. Cardamone, can he mark it? I think it's kept alive there, not Cardamone in the end. Odomat. Nonetheless, Dodomat, he snaps across the body. I think Odomat's kicked this one, he has. What a great finish there from Lee Odomat. Made something out of absolutely nothing. No, 
was actually 48. It was Pignataro. Way to throw me off there, Raymond. I was going to say, he's got tattoos in the first half and they've gone in the second. <laughs> Nonetheless, Johnny Pignataro right. kicks a goal and the White Horse Pioneers <coughs> the Benigo Bank scoreboard trail now to Coldstream 5-4-34, White Horse Pioneers 4-4-28. We've played five minutes here at Walker Park on the Benigo Bank scoreboard. Uh, that's an important goal to Coldstream as well because we haven't seen many scored up that end of the ground and to get one up there, it certainly uh, is a good effort. So back into the middle, Hockey got the tap for the White Horse Pioneers. Can they respond quickly? They won't want to concede two in a row in such a tight game. This game could get away quite quickly, but it's uh, Coldstream's side in there. That might have been a push. Odomat, I think it was, he shoved the player out of the way, but the umpire said no, it was just a fair contest. And they'll have the ball up. So it's Coldstream by kick. A little bit of a Hail Mary it was, but uh, Pignataro will take it, I'm sure. As the ball goes onto the ground, going on top of it was Craig, and he's wrapped up by Gleed in the ground. And a ball up. So I just wonder how many goals are going to be kicked in this game because there hasn't been a lot so far. And he's to throw the ball up again. Now it comes out, looking for it there was uh, Thorne on the ground. And it's been wrapped up again, and we'll have another ball up. I think if we all had $5 for every ball up we had today, we'd all be millionaires and wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> up it goes. <coughs> it's the tap over the top. And once again, it's come out of the pack, but it's going to be wrapped up again. Good tackle on there by Farley on the ground. And Tippett trying to rip it out. <coughs> once again, can't get it out. Cross down. So we go boundary side with Ben Warren Smith. I've got five bucks for you, Brett. Do you want to switch, mate? <laughs> <laughs> comes up now, tap one forward there by Pignataro and Clayton. We're going inside now. Ball is pinballing around the top of the 50 here. Good tackle there from Cardamone, the coach of the Coldstream Footy Club. A bit of a scrap forming here. And then he gets some clear footy. Pignataro's going to go up in the ruck. He won the tap. Carter's is there. What can he do with it? He said over the footy from Carrigan. Oh, I think we'll have a bit ball up once again. So ball up now on the paint of 54 cold stream. Pignataro on the tap trying to find Craig. Diving on the footy there was Price. A good strong tackle applied there by Charlie Thorne. Pignataro's been involved in a lot so far this quarter. Talking about players that maybe have been a bit quiet in the first half. Definitely started this one quite well. Getting into the game now as the ball is tapped out towards the boundary, but it's been hooked back across the face and just Great. off target. My word, that was almost a goal out of nothing. And it slides through for a point. Took everyone by surprise, and it's taken the margin out now to seven points. So up beyond a kick now. And predictions of the uh, game potentially opening up. Not really coming to fruition so far. It's still a fairly tight tussle. A little bit ugly almost in the hands of Ryan and Chris Ryan will bring it back in for the Pioneers. Where's he going to go? Sends it straight down the ground. Uh, they go for it, but it was Coldstream who got to the front spot, but it's fallen nicely there for McDougal. That's Christopher McDougal. And now they can get some runoff path back. Here's an opportunity. The kick inside 50. Can they hit the target? About bouncing around. It was almost that. It's going to be Padbury who's going to get an absolute gift. Andrew Padbury, it was and he swapped from the skivvy. I've called it. He has great work. It was Duke Clay. You've got to put it down to Duke Clay because if you watch the replay, Duke Clay created the contest, and he took. I think it was uh, Dale out of the way, yeah. and it fell into the hands of Padbury, who ran into an open goal. And the man who's really done uh, next to nothing in this game suddenly gets on the scoreboard. Big goal. And that's a great goal by Whitehorse because uh, Coldstream had all the play in the first eight minutes or so of this quarter inside their forward fifty. And to run the ball from coast to coast and end up with a goal like that, that that's the sort of thing that can turn the game. And really good foot passing by Bataco too. Yeah. So, one that's tap out and the clearance there was Ward on these far as Price. Price goes down the line, kept in bound there by Dickinson. Goes backwards to go forward. Dickinson's dispossessed. Umpire says we'll have a boundary <coughs> throw in. So it's heated here. And a bit of push and shove between Batarco and Dickinson. Sorry, McInerney. And the free kick's going the way of the Retaliator. So Pioneers go long. The target there is Tippett. And a good spoil coming across the back there from Cecilia. So, throw in for on the far side of the grounds. Margin is seven points at the moment. 
throw it in Duclo. Goes up against Clayton. They've had a good duel today, taking the ball away. There was McDougall. That's Christopher McDougall on the ground, but he's wrapped up in a good tackle. And the umpire says we'll have a ball up. So sun's still out here. Looks like we might have seen the last of the rain. Well, I hope I haven't put the mocker on it. I probably have. Up it goes. <coughs> Getting up there and winning the tap was Cold Stream. Picked up beautifully on the ground by McDougall again. Tip it in there looking for it. Now Glebe. And it's a couple of nice work in there, and that might be holding the ball. No real. Well, I thought there might have not be too much prior there, but possibly a fair call. Daly, the tackler, and he did well to force. 25 here, I think. Yeah, 25. Yep. LaRusso, I think it was, that gave that one away. Yeah, good tackle, though, by uh, Daly. And the umpire was right on the spot, so good call. <coughs> so an opportunity now for the White Horse Pioneers. This will be two goals that Colchester have given away from free kicks inside the White Horse forward 50, which is a bit disappointing, um, particularly by some of their more experienced players today. <coughs> so here's a little kick, and it's there. So an easy goal in the end, a bit of a gift. And the White Horse pioneers through uh, Daly, Jacob Daly. He did the work, of course, with the tackle, catching the player in possession. And then just a basic kick from about uh, 10 or 15 metres in. I think even you could have kicked that one, Ray. Oh, uh, thanks, Brett. I, <laughs> but I, I only say yes because the wind would have been behind me going that end, but the other end, no way. But no, look, uh, Coles should be very disappointed there. Lack of discipline, you know. To, these guys have played enough football to know now, particularly in finals, you don't just give free kicks, 30 metre, 25 metre penalties like that. You know, the game's too valuable. The ball up in the centre of Walker Park, ball from the clearance. Goes to his team over the handball. Khan trying to keep it alive. This kick from Mitch Wise at the top of the goal square. Looks good, but it's gone to the left-hand side. It's on the Benigo Bank scoreboard. They're starting a buffer to create now for the Pioneers. Six goals to 5.41. Coldstream, 5.535. So, kick in again from Coldstream. They're only a kick behind, but you just feel like the, the tide has just swung in the last few minutes. Whitehorse just starting to get on top, but it's been that way all day, just ebbing and flowing. Now the ball falls for Padbury. Padbury taking a good tackle, but uh, the umpire says free kick. Wow. I'm not quite sure. I may have thought he was taken without the ball there. Or maybe he, he was hung on too long in the yeah. tackle. He was tackled, he got rid of it, and he was still hung. And so Padbury looking around for options. Been a quiet day for him today. I'm sure he'd love to get on the scoreboard. He's got a... Uh, Long kick in front of him, probably a bit beyond him, maybe. It's going to come up short, going up there for it. Good work by Dale. In fact, it was Fritz, I think. And knocked away towards the boundary line. And the whistle's gone. What does the umpire say? On the full. On the full over there. Yeah. And so, just the one kick in it at the moment. 6-5-41. Plays 5-5-35 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. So it's in the hands of Matty McCormick. Good play to have the footy with. He sends it long. So you know, top of the square. Might have the legs, oh. but it's fisted through. Good spoil there from the Ruckman. That was an excellent kick for goal. Just Touch touched play. on the goal line. So, Charles will kick the ball back in through the likes of Aaron Brown. Kicks to himself. Looking come broadcast side. Kicks ordinary. Charlie Thorne, already should attack. Charlie Thorne has a shot for goal. This will be another great goal for the Pioneers, and it is. Charlie Thorne intercepted the kick out and just goes bang straight over the goal umpire's head. What a great piece of def defensive play turned attacking. And let's cross down to Ben Warren Smith on the boundary line. He's the main contender at this stage, uh, Thorne, there for the vibro goal of the day. Great work from you, Ben Warren Smith on the boundary line. Benny, how's the wind like in this second? Oh, sorry, in the second half. Oh, it's like I'm on repeat down here. The wind's the biggest topic in Melbourne at the moment. But no, it, nothing's changed down here, guys. It's still heading towards the White Horse end. It's still pushing towards that scoreboard. It's uh, it's going to it's going to be a very interesting last 40 minutes. So back to back goals for White Horse. Is the uh, is the time theirs now? Is it an opportunity now to really take this game by the scruff of the neck? You think Coldstream would want to get the next one, and they do have possession of the ball, but it's a scrubby old kick inside 50, cut off there by White Horse. Good tackle though, the ball spills clear in the free hands. Kick, free kick, free kick. a free kick. To Odomat holding the man. So oh no, it's not, it's Pignataro again. So Pignataro. Just when that goal was kicked, guys, I, I was looking at the emotion of Derek Shaw. He actually took one of his hands out of his pocket and scratched <laughs> his nose. The guy shows no emotion whatsoever. Let's go down boundary side very quickly with Ben Warren-Smith. Right. 
No, well, they very much, they look similar, mate. So Pignataro, he'll be kicking from about 45 by the time he strikes it. He's hit it pretty well, but the umpire's moving away. The wind. To the left, and an opportunity for the Coldstream side, but Pignataro off target. The so wind, that old chestnut. He is definitely <laughs> the man that is needing to be contained um, from a white horse perspective, uh, looking dangerous for Coldstream. 7-6-48 plays 5-6-36 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. They work there, Brett Best, and the ball comes long. Good spoil there from Clayton Coldstream, trying to go forward. Well Tap forward by Brown. Pignataro's there. He picks it up, tries to bust through the pack. Picked out long now from the Pioneers, was smothered. Cardamone, Brown. Tackled hard, should be holding the ball here. What does umpire say? You'll ball it up. Good defensive pressure there from the Pioneers, trying to hold on to their 12-point lead they've created. 15 minutes gone on the Benigo Bank scoreboard here in the Division 4 Elimination Final. Handball's at the back. Kicked long there from Ryan. Ward dives and dishes through two. Pignataro. LaRusso, top of the goal square. Odomat, dispossessed, coming through the back there. Was Connell. He goes long towards the boundary line. Dalgleish and a big hip and shoulder. I think the umpire will bring it back. But Tarko, I think he copped the hit. So he gave away the hit. I, I, I don't think there was much in that. I oh really God. don't. He wasn't late. He, he just hip and shoulder. He hit the body. Did, wasn't head high. Definitely not a free kick. Ben Warren Smith, what the, happened there? The definition of not a free kick. That was good hard footy. Yeah. Uh, b absolutely baffled right in front of me. And it wasn't late or anything. So nonetheless, the footy is in the hands of Daniel Durstegan. Wow. And that could have been a great counter attack for the Pioneers. And I bet you Jem wouldn't have blown her whistle there. <laughs> as the footy goes long. Good, strong pack forms. That one actually is Leo to Matt. He goes to the top of the goal square trying to find a Cougars jumper. Running back with the flight there is McDougal of the Michael variety. He goes over the top, finds his teammate there in Ryan. Ryan back to McDougal. Chip kick in bounds. Spoiled over the back there from Wagner. Good hands from Coltrera. Top of the goal square, the centre 50. Yeah. Oh, oh, with a big pack mark. Super defensive pressure there from the Cougars. Keeping the footy in their forward half as Ben Warren Smith gives me a big grin saying, I don't know what he's saying, but he's giving me a big smiley grin. Ben, can you tell it. me who marked that one, mate? I missed it. Well, it was, uh, <laughs> the, the, the big cheer was for you, Ray. Ben <laughs> Odomat finally took one for you, mate. Thanks, Ray. So, <laughs> Lee Odomat to put his second on the board. And bring it back to a one-kick ball game. He'll kick from 25 metres out straight in front. Off the left boot and He's it's gone it. across to the right hand side. He just stabbed at that one. And on the Benigo Bank scoreboard, it's the White Horse Pioneers. 7 6 48, Coldstream. 5 7 37. We play 17 and a half minutes here at Walker Park in Mitcham. And oh, so. Alana, I just get a, a feeling momentum's starting to switch towards Coldstream. Yeah, that intercept mark from Coltrera was absolutely outstanding there on the wing. He read it like a book and he attacked it like a steam train. And so back in the middle of the ground, it's heading towards the uh, White Horse Pioneers. They'll end of the ground. Good tackle comes in there and the ball spills out. It's getting pretty willing in there and it's gone right out to the far side. Christopher McDougall, can he do something? He evades a tackle. Now he gets a short kick inside. Can he find a target? Going in there was Padbury, and he's got it. Great Andrew time. Padbury finally gets onto one. He's back from his uh, holiday on the deserted island in Bali. And he the game has opened up a little it bit, has. guys. Just yeah. as we were wanting for it to happen, it has, and we're seeing some good marks. We're seeing some, some passages of play, and um, we're getting some run. And so Padbury, it's not an easy kick. He's got a fair bit of angle to work with. Gets a bit of a raspberry from the crowd as he kicks it, and... He likes He's it. got it. Likes Andrew it. Padbury finally gets on. In fact, that's his second for the day. And that is a big goal on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard as the White Horse Pioneers kick away 8 6 54 to 5 7 37 as we go boundary side with Ben Warren Smith. Yeah, and look, uh, Coldstream in the last few minutes, they've had a bit of the run of play, and then all of a sudden White Horse got that run on. It was scrappy football out the side, but they worked the ball forward. They were tapping it forward. It wasn't pretty, but they got it inside 50. Great mark and great goal. Fantastic stuff, Pioneers. So back out to a 12-point margin, sorry, 13-point margin here at Walker Park in Mitcham. Too close, tries to get the big hip and shot only as far as Brown. Brown goes long, got the chest mark there. It was Dalgleish, Majok, handballs back inside, intercepted, and he tackles a big bloke there. It was 
no charm. Umpire's going to ball it up. Our favourite umpire in the AFL, Jan Devonish. Well, yours. 17 point margin to Gus, <laughs> giving me a stick about my maths before. I said it in general, <laughs> wasn't about you, it was about all of us. We're footy commentators, not mathematicians. <laughs> As the footy comes back in, McCormick, big crunching tackle applied. Pignataro smothered. Odomat's there, so's Brown. Nonetheless, McCormack runs and streams with the half back line. Not a lot presenting, so he goes long in the Padbury direction. Noah Khan's there, a good strong mark taken by Adam Whale. True centre half back position. He's a big man, Adam Whale. Comes inbound to the other ball player, Ryan Kerr. Ryan Kerr's kicks a good one. He made Daniel Price work for it. In front of Odomat's coaching box, trying to keep it alive there, but it was smothered off the boot. Great defensive play there from the Pioneers. And in general, from Newton. And so we'll have a throw in just forward of centre wing. Sun's still shining here at Walker Park as the umpire sends it in. Up they go. Duclo got the tap. It's come down. Oh, it come, pops out on the cold stream side, though. A couple of players getting each other's way. One of those was Darcy Carrigan. The ball has hu hurried forward. Now they've got an opportunity now. That's uh, LaRusso, sorry, who gets it in. Can he find a target? It's a bit of a scrubby old kick. Choi is there, but he can't get there, and it's been tidied up nicely back there. Good and decision. Um, umpire's whistle. Holding the ball. And it's a holding it's the ball. So Odomat just took my eyes off the play there just for a split second. And White uh, White, uh, White Horse at least will uh, court in possession. So Lee Odomat. We'll go back and he'll be kicking from probably just inside 50 by the time he hits this. This is a big kick, about 49 metres. He's hit it okay, but it's... Got it. Beautiful. Yeah, he's got it. Lee Odomat, that is his... Uh, a big goal for him. It's his second for the game. And Cold Street, well, they're not going away on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. They just get that bit closer. They've pulled it back to an 11-point margin, 8-6-54. Plays 6 7 43. The White Horse Pioneers by 11. Yeah, and Odomat had to kick that goal after missing the previous one. Yeah, that was uh, harder to get. It was further out on a, on a more of an angle, and uh, missing the earlier one, he had to get that. He's been lively, Otis. He would have been lamenting that, but I just want to touch on Darcy Carrigan. His uh, game in that midfield, he just, you saw him put his head over that ball and just does it time and time again, and he's very, very skillful as well. Shaw won the tap. Cold stream win the clearance from another free kick. I think it's in the hands of the skipper Matt Gleed now. It is. Gleed. Right in the centre of Walker Park goes long. Had reached the target. Tries to get first position. Punch came over the back there from Wagner. Plenty of numbers here for the Pioneers. Handballed forward by Newton. Over the top from Ward. Finds a teammate in Tippett. Trying to go to the was tackled. Umpire should play hold of the ball. They come backwards to go forward. Trying to find a teammate there in Del Gleese. Del Gleese is wrapped up by Chow. Great, great spoil by Mojack then in the in defence. Definitely, and the hit yeah. by Price, that attack on the on the player was very, very good too. That it certainly was. Saved a certain goal there for the Pioneers. Hit their team alive. Tap goes up, too close from the tap. Mitch Ward snaps across the body towards the top of the goal square. But in fact it's gone full top of the beer tent and out of bounds on the full. It was up there with the best smother of all time. Yeah. Of all time. Heath Shaw has the best smother of all time. You reckon it was up there with Heath Shaw on Nick Rivers? It, it was that Nick kind of desperation yeah. kind of effort. Yep. Uh, oh, that kick wasn't yeah, That's a shocking over. kick. And it's gone straight out of the hands of uh, White Horse Pioneers player Mitch Ward. 2010 10 grand final. Best smother that ever happened in the Remember entire the Saints, history of the AFL. Saints AFL? lost the grand final. Right. So Wasn't Mitch, it a smother? It was a smother, 100%. Smother off the smother. beat. Mitch Ward, let's get Three back to the game, boys and girls. Mitch Ward yeah. lining up. This is a big kick as he comes in. He's hit it on the right boot. How does it look? Got it. I think he's got it. He has. Mitch Ward. It's a good kick, so that's his first of the day. And just when uh, Coldstream was starting to get something going, the Pioneers have struck back. That is their ninth of the day. As we just wait for the scoreboard to flick over, 9 6 60. Plays 6 7 43 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. And Mitch Ward with his first of the day. And that Coldstream player that kicked it straight to him, I can't see which number he is. He's got his hands on Dickinson. his hips. He's got his hands on his hips over there. Dickinson, and I think it was. Yep, he's just looking a bit dejected. Let's cross boundary size to Ben Warren Smith. What a huge goal that was in the context of this game. You know, all of a sudden, you thought Coldstream had a little bit of ascendancy. Whitehorse pounced. They take the opportunity, and once again, they go forward. Let her go forward now. Intercepted there from Coldstream. Knocking the ball forward was Carrigan. Only as far as Tippett. Tippett snapped towards the top of the goal square and a mark's been taken by Kerr. So 
Kerr goes long on the right boot. Price is the target. Good spoil came across the back from McCormick. McCormick oh, smother. was smothered by Magic. Now they're off to the races now. Long kick from LaRusso. Top of the goal square. Who can they find? And a good right, strong mark. mark. Free kick Over to Carrigan. Free kick going in to the Darcy back. Carrigan. He Come looks on, a bit Darcy. rushed here. I don't know why Alana's barracking for Darcy Carrigan. Because <laughs> I've liked his game and I want him to kick the goal. On that he has Alana go straight over the goal on Pius head. Darcy Harrigan goes bang. And what a great response from the Coldstream Footy Club on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. It's Whitehorse 9 6 60. Coldstream 7 7 49. We've played 25 minutes and BWS, this game's anyone's. It's absolutely, it's, it's definitely exciting down here, Boundary Side, there's no doubt about that. Look, 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 the crowd's not big, but they're full of voice now. It's anyone's game, exciting. Uh, who doesn't like golf for golf? And Alana, you were right, it was a smother. And <laughs> the Lock that out for a very, <laughs> very long time. And Darcy Sorry, Carrigan, I, I agree with you. Look, he's been one Coldstream player that has played four, uh, three very good quarters mm -hmm. so far. So back in the middle, it's an 11-point margin. Just when you think one side gets on top, the other comes back, and it's that sort of game, and it's much more open in the second half. Pabry taken to the ground. Choi's got his hands on it, but is it dropping the ball? Now the umpire says play on, giving him a bit of uh, poetic license. Goes to Dickinson, bursts away. The ball is on the ground. Going to ground with it was Connell. Tom Connolly. He's had a fair game too. Now it comes out, uh, chased there by one of the Whitehorse players. It's going to go down towards number five, and that is Price. He's had a good game too, Daniel yeah. Price. Right. And he's drawn up. the free kick. In fact, it might even be a mark. But either way, he's got the ball, and he'll take it across half back and kick in the face of Duke Clay. But it's not a great oh. kick, and the mark is taken. So an opportunity now. It's Del Gleish. Del, Del Gleish yeah, with a right short there. kick, and that's just too easy for the Pioneers. Brett what? Farley was just standing there on his own. Once again, the options coming out of defence by Coldstream has one part of their play that's really let them down today. Well, that was just ridiculous. Del Gleese just chipping it to Farley, who was standing. He could have built a house, the amount of real estate he had standing around him. And he'll go back. So immediately as Coldstream get back within touch, he's got an opportunity to kick on the point. He's away. Farley, he's on the left boot. Nah. But he's missed it. Nah, as soon as he, he wasn't going to kick that. As soon as he <laughs> <laughs> Good call, Alana. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on to it today. <laughs> Heading to the left, so the margin is out to uh, 12 points. So it's two straight kicks, 9-7-61. Play 7-7-49 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. So to bring the footy back into play is Brown. So Price, I should say, he goes short. Finds learnt his from teammate. Learnt from his lesson last time of going long. That Went short has. this time. Adam Dale. So Ryan Kerr. Ryan Kerr goes long. Chole of the Majak varieties there. Can't quite keep it alive. So they gained about 70 metres there, Cole. So they got the ball out of their defensive 50. And we played 27 minutes here on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. So the boundary throw in true centre wing position. Going out to end the ruck now will be Hockey and Chole. Hockey won the tap. Clean numbers at the back map, Glee. Great tackle there from Magic. Going forward there, Del Gleish. The other players there for the Pioneers. McInerney's there for Carlstrom, and he sends it long. Good strong mark taken by Leo to Matt. 45 metres out on the boundary line. Goes towards the goal square. Keith Nataro, Coltrera. Snaps. Carter Moans there. What can come from this? Tackle there from holding. Del Gleish sends the ball long out. Can he find a Pioneers jumper? No, he can't. Good strong mark taken there. I think it's McCarthy. So McCarthy, they get it out for the moment, Whitehorse, but not for long because McCarthy looks a bit like Conor McGregor too as he gets the kick back down into the pocket. Up they go in a mark. Oh, no, we haven't heard yet. I will find oh. out because I'm interested. <coughs> so Whitehorse to work it across half back. Goes right across to Farley. Farley with a handball over the top. Just got to be careful here, Whitehorse. There's a bit of danger, but they do get the kick away. But it's not a terribly convincing one. Cut off there beautifully by Hugon. But he can't get the mark. It's on the grounds. He's struggling to get it away. It's in the hands now of McCormack. Nice one off half back. Now they've got a chance to get out here, the Pioneers. Can't be long to play in this quarter, but that's a poor kick. And it's been cut off easily, and Coldstream will rebound. Long kick forward. But again, there's plenty of Pioneers players back there. Falls into the hands of Craig. Now it's hurried inside 50. Can someone get on the end of it? Almost a mark taken by Odomat. Goes to ground. Diving on it there was Thorne. McCormick's actually coming, beat over. Is that his shoulder? It looks like he has done it. <coughs> Get that in a minute. As the Whitehorse Pioneers bring it out towards his far wing. Bataco is there, but great mark taken over the top of Bataco. That was Brendan Dickinson. 
squares it across the grounds. A bit of a dangerous kick because Tippett was right there, but it was Hugel and it took the mark. Too high. It's, gives oh. a kick away to a nasty one there, and it's been knocked down there by McDougal. It's Mike McDougal. He's got his hands on it too. Now, this would be a huge blow for Coldstream if they could get a goal here. But it's out of bounds for the moment. And I think you did say, Brett, it is coming towards three-quarter time. Coldstream have got two extra players dropped back into their um, back, back half. And um, I feel like they're just trying to not have any more scores scored against them coming into three-quarter time. And if they happen to pinch a goal, they'll be ecstatic with that. As you are interested, Floyd Mayweather has won the battle between Conor McGregor. We're giving you all sports updates here on Radio <laughs> Eastern 98.1 as the siren sounds at three-quarter time. Ben Warren-Smith, you have a quick update for us 